Kashish Grover, your PSM faculty. Today I'm here to discuss some previous year questions. So this is FMG PYQ and uh, a patient presented with diarrhea, dementia and dermatitis. Which of the following vitamin deficiency causes it? See diarrhea, dementia, dermatitis, we know this is pellagra and pellagra is caused by niacin deficiency. Next question. Again FMG question. On topic niacin deficiency. Which vitamin deficiency is given in the image? So this image is showing dermatitis. This image is showing dermatitis. And this is classically known as Kazal's necklace. This is known as Kazal's necklace. So this is seen in niacin deficiency. Another question, FMG PYQ. A maize eater with diarrhea, dermatitis, memory loss. The disease is, yes, diarrhea, dermatitis and memory loss. The disease is pellagra. This is caused by niacin deficiency and this is common in maize eaters. Right? So these three were FMG questions on same topic. Now let us see another question. So this is a neat PG PYQ and the question says a farmer presents having complaint of skin rash, okay skin rash, which increases on sun exposure, right, which increases on sun exposure. There is redness of tongue also. So this is redness of tongue, glossitis is also there. On history, maize was staple diet. Right, maize was staple diet. So we have dermatitis here, we have glossitis here, and maize staple diet. Which vitamin deficiency is responsible for this? Right, so this is again niacin. Niacin deficiency causes pellet. I use a very important BP, PG or FMG. Now let us quickly revise niacin deficiency. See, kids, niacin is required for proper functioning of your skin, your intestine, and your brain. If niacin is deficient, then patient may get dermatitis. This dermatitis is bilateral and it is seen more over the sun exposed areas. And the classical here is Kazal's necklace. And you can see the image here. This is Kazal's necklace. Now, if intestines are not functioning properly, then what may happen? The patient may experience diarrhea. So, dermatitis thing is dementia. So, dermatitis, diarrhea, dementia and fourth thing is death. So, these are known as four Ds of pellagra. Now, apart from dermatitis, diarrhea, dementia and death, you can see glossitis and stomatitis in case of niacin deficiency. These are more commonly seen in maize eaters, also in jawar eaters. Now, now coming to next topic. So, this is also the very frequently asked biomedical waste management. So, in FMG 21 exam, they asked, Cotton swab discarded in. So, cotton swab is a soiled waste and you know soiled waste is discarded in yellow. Coming to next question. So, this question was asked in again FMG 21. Incinerated waste is discarded in. See kids, incinerated waste. See, red, white and blue. These three categories are recyclable. Right? These three categories are recyclable. But yellow one is not recyclable. So incinerated waste is thrown in yellow. Now next, blood bag discarded in. See, blood bag is discarded in again yellow category. Blood bag is discarded in again yellow category. But urine bag is discarded in red. So blood bag in yellow, urine bag in red. Now, this question was in NEET PG21. Culture plate. So culture plate is a microbiological waste. And all the microbiological waste is thrown in again yellow. Next question. Nasal swab discarded in. So nasal swab again this is a soiled waste and this is discarded in yellow. So again you can see same topic with different twist in the question. With different question in different exam FMG and NEET PG. We are starting a PYQ series from 13th Feb 12 p.m. onwards on eMedicos app. Come join us. Thank you so much. Wishing you all a very good luck.